The fighting game community has been held hostage by tier lists since the beginning of the pandemic and even before that. With the only question people ever talking about is, how good is this character? What about this? What about that? And today is no different. We're going to be doing a move tier list talking about the best moves in Smash Ultimate. Yes, that transition's really slow, I know. So today we're doing an up B tier list. So just some caveats, uh, the up Bs will be about just how good they are in a vacuum. How replaceable is this up B for other characters? Obviously there are certain up Bs that are good within the contents of the kit, and I'll talk about those, and maybe I'll make some exceptions, but it's mostly gonna be how good they are in a vacuum. And we're just gonna go alphabetical unless People subscribe in the Twitch channel, which by the way, you should subscribe in the YouTube channel or check out my Twitch because I'm going to be doing these live a week earlier so you'll know the results already. So, Banjo-Kazooie has a pretty mediocre- I don't think I need this many tiers. It's a pretty bad upbeat. It has a bad hitbox, so the hitbox isn't really used for edge guarding. Um, it's slow, it doesn't have invincibility as far as I'm aware. Does it have invincibility? I think I might have a little bit of invincibility. It has three frames of invincibility, so not very good. The move is just kind of not great, and it doesn't even send you that far. So, like, the only thing that makes it a good recovery tool is the fact that you can do stuff afterwards, uh, which it's not gonna be the lower end of this tier, but it's still, like, one of the worst upbeats. Bayonetta, her upbeat's gonna, I'm gonna say at least a high tier upbeat. It's decent out of shield, it's big, it's a good combo tool, it's hard to edge guard. Uh, for some characters. For some characters, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's definitely not one of the most polarizing upbeats in the game, but it's still very good. It, it's a good juggling tool. Overall, it's solid. There's not too many complaints about this upbeat. I think a lot of characters would like this upbeat, but it's not like so good to the point where it's just like really overwhelming. Speaking of really overwhelming upbeats, Bowser. Bowser's upbeat is somewhere in the top tier of upbeats. It's frame six, it hits both sides, it is super obnoxious and one of the best out of shield options in the game. Uh, it's consistent, it ends up killing, it can take your stage control back. Um, it is punishable if you shield it, but most characters, like that kind of determines like whether a matchup is good or not for Bowser realistically, is like how two frameable are they and how susceptible to up B are they. But I would say it's in the lower end of the top tier up Bs because there's some egregious one because it has no invincibility, you can still ping with it, but it's still good. Bowser Jr. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a B tier. Uh, up B, which is kind of crazy that the first four characters are all different tiers. Um, it's good, it's strong obviously, it can be used to edgeguard pretty well. The only problem with it is in terms of recovery, uh, it leaves Bowser Jr. really susceptible. If there are moves that don't put you into tumble, character dies immediately because you don't get the card back. You have to fall really far to get your card back if you use it on stage and it misses, so it ends up being very punchable even with the hammer swing. But I don't think that it's like crazy good. I think it might be on the lowest end of high tier. I might switch this, but it's it's probably the upper end of B tier, you know? Violith. Uh, I would have, you know, three or four months ago put this in high tier up B, but I think it is a top tier up B. It's an S tier up B. Uh, mostly due to the fact that uh, it's a ridiculous edge guard tool. It is one of the biggest, like, GG or in a bad position up B's, like, in the game because like I would say like it's it's a worse version of Pikachu's Thunder uh but at the same time it's a little easier to use than Pikachu's Thunder because you don't have to be quite as far away from your opponent to get the spike so it's really good like there are so many stocks that's just like oh you're off stage you don't have a jump you have to recover this specific way dead obviously it can be used for the combos that Leo's got uh you know with like he does like something into up tilt jump up or like a falling up air jump up B and it just catches people. It's really scary. It's something you have to watch out for. It's a decent out of shield option. Uh, and then of course you can't tech this, uh, the bounce part. So on like platforms, you can actually get some really good cheese with this character. So I definitely think it's an S tier upbeat. Again, lower end of S tier, but probably still S tier. Captain Falcon, A tier. Well, this upbeat is good. You have a, a good drift on it. It's not super great for recovering, which by the way, I didn't mention about Violet's Violet's recovery is pretty good, obviously. But it's a really good out of shield option and it's super strong. Uh, it's frame 13, which isn't that fast, but it's huge and a command grab, obviously. And then of course it's good in offense. It's good for 50-50s. It's good to make it back if your opponent has to air dodge and you can just go all the way off stage and then just up them and then up in return, uh, which is really good. I think that uh, pre-buff, it would have been like here at best, uh, but I think the buffs make a big difference. So, it, because it's so much faster, so it's way harder to tech check. It's still possible again, but it's, it's not easy to tech check. And it's just strong, like it does a ton of percent, and it's one of those like constantly annoying threats that Falcon has. Krom. Uh, Krom's up is I can't tell if it's a high tier or a mid tier. Because it's like top tier, high tier, mid tier, low tier. I'm gonna put it in a high tier up B. It does like 29, and it has armor. Um, 
but it's really bad for recovery. So because of the recovery, I'm putting it B tier. I think offense wise, it's like the upper end of A tier, but the recovery is really exploitable, even though it's good for offense and you can like, you know, Kramikaze with it. You can uh, do all those type of things. I still think that overall it's a B tier upbeat just because, or like the very low end of the A tier, like it's not only better than Bowser Jr's, uh, but also yeah, it, it, sometimes you fall out of it. So I think it's inconsistencies plus how not good it is for recovery, put a B tier. Cloud, S tier, a B. It's one of the best out of shield options in the game. It's a little slow, it's frame seven, but like it's huge. Uh, you can DI out of it and SDI out of it, but until people do that consistently, I'm not even gonna consider that. Okay, I'll, con I'll personally consider it, um, but it's really good. It's one of the staples of Cloud's play. It's why the character's good, because he can swing buttons and then also, you know, shield and upbeat. So it's really important to his gameplay. I think a lot of characters would like Cloud's upbeat. It's surprisingly hard to edge guard. Uh, the hitbox is good. There's not a ton of time after the hitbox is out that you can hit it. So yeah, it's pretty good. Corrin, I think Corrin's is a B tier upbeat. Uh, it's not super great for killing, but like it's not bad for killing and it's not bad for recovery, but it's not really great at either. Of course, you can have the exploit of having a lingering move inside the upbeat when it starts up because it has invincibility at the beginning. Uh, but that just allows you to get trade and get spiked, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, it's like not special. It's just an upbeat. It is just like a normal upbeat. Uh, pit and dark pit. Basically, uh, any uh, upbeat that doesn't have a hitbox is immediately going into C tier because you can just edge guard it and it has no offensive use. So it's it goes far, but it doesn't do anything else. And it's not a really good mix up because it has no timing mix up. You just wait on ledge until you hear or see the wings going and then you just hit him. Diddy Kong's up B. Um, I'm gonna say it's high tier because barrels exists. It is. It does a ton of damage. The explosions are really good. Um, it goes really far. It's a decent out of shield option. It's a good combo ender. Of course, the reason it's not an S tier upbeat is because sometimes you get hit at very low percent and you die because of just how barrels work. But I think overall it's a really, really, really strong option. It can hit you on ledge, so it can hit your second regrab. It is of course the ender to like the low percent combo, which does like 75. Um, so it's, it's way better than I gave it credit for and still give it credit for, but it's, it's not broken. It's just good. It's just really good. Donkey Kong, this upbeat sucks. Well, it's, it's here. It kills really early is the thing. It kills really early on stage. For recovery, it's awful. For a hitbox, it's awful. For consistency, not good. But it kills at like 80. And has some armor on the ground. So it's either like the bottom of B tier or the top of C tier. And I might change that later. It's just, it's okay. It's, it's not great. Dr. Mario. Low key. It's a high tier upbeat. It doesn't go far for recovery, so it's not great for recovery. But like, also, Doc has no other options for recovery, and his airspeed is trash. So like, I think putting Doc's up on characters with better jumps or better air mobility, pff, suddenly amazing. It's a frame three out of shield option that f***ing kills you, and it's a combo. It's a combo move. Like down throw upbeat, down tilt upbeat are kill confirms at like 100, 110. So it's really good. But yeah, I think it's it's strong as f***, and it's a good out of shield option. It doesn't have a ton of range, but like, I still think it's overall an underrated move. Duck Hunt, this is a one of the worst uppies in the game. The, again, the only advantage of it is you can do stuff out of it, like air dodge and stuff, um, similar to Banjo's, but it's so slow, and if, if you didn't have something like Can to kind of protect you, this move is terrible. It's so bad. It's one of the worst uppies in the game. It's not good. Nothing about this is good. It's slow, it goes a decent distance, but not even that much. Obviously, has no hitbox, it's trash. Falco! I'm gonna put Falco's in the lower end of B tier, maybe still better than DK's. The only reason uh, it's not in C tier is because you have footstool up B out of shield, which Falco's don't do, admittedly, but it's really good because it does like 35. Like it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't really go that far. It's not particularly strong. You can get cheese kills with it uh, if someone messes up an edge guard against you, but that's relying on your opponent messing up. Uh, but again, footstool up B out of shield is immediately gonna put it at least in B tier. But like, I would still say it's worse than Bowser Jr's, maybe, I don't know. Fox. Fox's up B is just straight up better than Falco's, because you can do footstool up B out of shield, which is the same thing, except it's a kill move and does a lot of damage and goes way further. Maybe it's here, it's not high tier, it's still mid tier. Uh, but Fox's is literally just better. It goes way farther, 
it's stronger, so if you miss the tech, you're gonna die, or you just die to get hit by it. It does like 30 for no reason on like a single hit, so if you trade with it, you're taking like 25 for like a ridiculous amount of damage. It's not good. Like, it, like as the opponent, it's not good. It sucks. It's annoying. Like, obviously it's susceptible, but it's still, it goes way farther than people think it does. Like, Fox's recovery is still super underrated, and I'm tired of people thinking it's bad. Next up is G -G -G Ganondorf. Uh, it's not good. It's literally just an objectively worse version of Falco's. The little eh hitbox doesn't really matter. It doesn't really help. Uh, it's slower. It's stronger than Falcon's. But, like, the command grab sucks. I don't know what frame it is, but it feels, like, terrible. It's frame 14. It's, it just feels, or it's, like, way smaller or something. Something's off with it. Oh, the hitbox is just tiny comparatively. Got it. Oh, and it's just, it's active for a single frame in front of it, whereas Captain Falcon's... Yeah, like, Falcon's is literally just bigger the entire time. But also, it does only that one hitbox. But I don't know, Ganon just feels way worse, and then, of course, uh, it goes less far and you have less drift, which is kind of Ganon more so than Falcon, but, like, kind of... It just it just doesn't work as well. Because, like, Falcon's is, hits low a lot better than uh, Ganon's as well. So Ganon's is just trash. It's one of the worst up in the game. But it's still better than these because it has a hitbox. I mean, technically, Banjo's does, but it's bad. Uh, Greninja's up E. For mobility and killing, it's a high tier up E in my opinion. It's pretty good for recovery. It's not like broken, uh, but you can go two directions and you can go the same direction twice, which means that you have like way more options because it's like one, two in the same direction or one, two different direction, which means the options are really crazy. Uh, it doesn't go as far as let's say Pika's or Pichu's, but it's still good. And of course you have water, which means that off stage you can just make people die because they upbeat early and then you just push them away. Just like you put them in a weird position to then have to like get forward air or air dodge or then up behind, which case then you forward smash them. So water is really good. Like flood is really good. Um, so is, you know, water gun by Squirtle, same thing, except it's a little more committal. Uh, and then you can bonk. It also edge cancels. So yeah, it's a pretty decent upbeat. It's not like broken, but it's pretty decent. Uh, Heroes up B. So Heroes up B is interesting. It's for recovery, it's pretty good. It goes really far. Of course, it takes MP, right? Um, but also, it's really awkward to deal with on offense. Like, when people use this move offensively, like, it's frame 7 out of shield, which is actually pretty good. It's better than I uh, used to think it was. It can combo into stuff on platforms or, you know, set up air dodge read situations, which is scary. And then, of course, using it when your opponent is off stage as an edge guarding tool is actually really strong. It can combo into back air, combo into down air. Um, or just make it so that your opponent has to get hit by this like 20 something percent move, uh, which I think is really good. Ice Climbers, this up B is kind of sus. It's not that good. Uh, it has a hitbox, but again, you can just kind of wait till Nana grabs the ledge, then run off and hit a button and kill Popo. No one does that because no one's good versus this character. But I think it's not good. It's still better than other ones because it goes pretty far. Especially because you can generally save Nana afterwards. Uh, it has a hitbox, but also it breaks sometimes randomly for no reason, where like Nana gets a hit, grabs the legend, Pope just goes, eh. Who knows why? No one does. But I would say it's definitely on the lower end still, but it's not like trash. It's not trash, but it's not good. But it also got buffed, so it, it's actually a kill confirm now, which is cool. Ike, this up is A tier because it is way stronger than Chrom's. And armor starts earlier question mark same frame question mark armor it's slower it's frame 15 which is incredibly slow but armor starts on frame five whereas crumbs of the armor is frame armor starts on frame 10 for chrome that sucks i didn't realize that Ike has armor on his upbeat that is usable and it's usable for, against like multi hits and stuff like that and also you can combo into it for a kill whereas you can combo into chrome but that's for damage whereas like nair upbeat for Ike, kills dummy early. With Rage, that move is fucked up. So it's definitely a high tier upbeat for me. Uh, it's also bigger than Chrom's. And yeah, you still have the issue of people falling out sometimes. Like Yez uh, definitely should have beat Tweak. And then uh, the upbeat fell out. So, but yeah, good move. Incineroar. I'm gonna put Incineroar like the top of the mid tier uppies. Uh, being able to get a zero to death, Pretty good. Down throw up beep, cheese. Really good. I would say for recovery, it's mediocre. It has armor, but it's pretty hittable. Uh, and it doesn't go super far. Of course, you are able to go up B and then do other stuff, which means it's more viable overall because you can do like up B, jump, air dodge to ledge or something like that. But it's definitely not as useful or as versatile as other moves. It's not really good out of shield option, although I use it when I play Incineroar, but Incineroar is generally don't. 
I, it could be argued that maybe this is a high tier up B, because you can do other stuff, but not for now. Speaking of high tier up B's, Inkling. Inkling's up B goes mad far and has two hitboxes. One, it's really hard to, it's not easy to edge guard. And if you edge guard too early and then lose, lose your double jump, uh, it sends you at the worst little angle and uh, then you die. The distance itself is also really good. And then of course it has the splash hitbox, both put ink on you, which is really good. So yeah, definitely a high tier up B. It's not like broken, but it's definitely the best really fast up B that kind of doesn't have hitbox as it's rising, but it has a hitbox at the beginning. Isabelle's, it goes really far, but again, no hitbox. Easy to edge guard because you can both just hit Isabel and also hit the balloons, which means that then they fall off their up B. So it's not good. It just, it goes far, but it's not good. Again, no hitbox. No, not a teleport. Yeah, there are multiple ways to edge guard it. Not a good upbeat, but it goes far. Joker. So for Joker, um, I'm gonna use Daisy as Joker's Arsene upbeat because I don't know what else to do. So I'm gonna use Daisy for Arsene upbeat and then normal Joker for the tether upbeat. For the tether upbeat, that shit's broken. It's really far, has a big bounce, it drags you down, and you get a full combo off it. In my opinion, it's better than, well, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's better than Violet's Uppy, and I was like, well, Violet spikes off stage. Um, but it's really good for drag down combos. It, it's a space you have to respect, in which case then you have to basically immediately, you have to air dodge, and then Joker can punish you for air dodging, which is ridiculous. And then if you get hit by it, you're just gonna take a bunch of damage and then get up throw, or up air, drag down, uh, grab, down throw forward air. Uh, then Arsen up B goes far and has invincibility, but again, doesn't have a hitbox. I would say maybe it's a little better than these, uh, cause one, it goes farther and it has invincibility on it. And three, uh, if you're close enough, you can actually hold down and be invincible until you go above the ledge and then two frame it with, or like grab the ledge without being vulnerable. So again, Daisy is Arsen up B. This is Arsen up B, it's not Peach. This is Arsen Joker. Just pit for Arsene, it's the same thing. There might be a second one that I have to do with, so. Also, there's three up Bs for each of these fucking characters, which I don't know what to do about that. But I'll get there when I get there. Puff. Um, honestly, I think Puff's up B is underrated. Obviously, it's a crazy jab lock uh, confirmed because then you get Sing into Rest. But I think, also, it's good for tech chases. It's good for people being too aggressive when trying to hit buttons. Uh, when you're near the ledge and then you can make them fall asleep and then get a kill. But I think the, the usefulness of jab lock and um, tech chase sing is ridiculous. It's so it's actually so good in those positions. Uh, and it's a free kill at like 30, 40. So I, I don't think it's possible to put it anywhere lower than like this or something. Teal's not a vacuum anymore. Sorry, you put someone to sleep at 40 other characters, you just fucking forward smash them. So it still it still works regardless of rest or not. Kazuya's up B. Um, it's a pretty good kill move, and you can confirm off of it, obviously, or into it. But again, I think it's it's a decent amount of shield option. This is just a kill confirm. A B strong. It has a good hitbox. It's not easy to it's not super easy to edge guard. You can, but it's not easy to edge guard. It's similar to Duck Hunts and Banjos, where you can do stuff out of it, and like Mega Man's, which we'll get to Mega Man in a little bit. Uh, but it's also, it's just strong. It's really strong. And if anyone has, again, if you put it on any character that has like a good weak up tilt, it's like up tilt up. Uh, Ken's up B. Sure, he was dumb. It's really hard to edge guard. I think it's actually better than Kazuya's. Kazuya's might be actually here. Not easy to edge guard. Obviously, huge kill confirm. Strong as fuck. Uh, pretty good kill confirm in the air too. Uh, like, can you imagine like Pikachu doing like down throw strong up air fucking sure you? Like, that'd be crazy. Even though it doesn't sweep spot the ledge, it, it has such a big hitbox through it that it's really hard to deal with. Like, you don't edge guard. Ryu and Ken, when they upbeat, you edgeguard them before. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, Dare Day. It's somewhere in mid-tier, like lower mid-tier. I don't think it's that good. It has armor, it goes far, sure, but like the offensive part, really never gonna happen unless you're bad. You can still hit it. Like it's not the most, it's not the most difficult thing to edgeguard. And even then, like it has no pressure. You can't peek over the ledge and like hit people and be safe. It's like, no, they're just gonna try to two frame you. And it goes far, but you know, I, I think it's not overall that good. How much armor does it have? I actually have no fucking clue. I just hit it. Invulnerable, 18 to 21. Super armor, 22 to 34. Eh, pretty. I would say overall, there's still like a couple problems with it. Like it just, it, the, again, the offense isn't really gonna happen, so it's like a decent recovery move with armor. Uh, K-Rule. 
Hey, rolls up B is not that good. The problem is, if you can get like right next to the stage, it's pretty good for recovery. But it's really hard to do that, as it would be hard to do that for most characters. And then otherwise, you just get like double jump. You like drop off double jump back aired by most of the cast if they have enough time to get there. Uh, if not, it can be annoying for sure. It has a good hitbox. You're not really going to use it offensively generally because it's not worth the risk. It is hard to two frame, but I would still say it's like not super good because of the fact that it has just like a small hitbox and then you're, the rest of your body is completely vulnerable. Like for recovery, better than GKs. For overall use, definitely not. Kirby. Kirby's somewhere in mid tier, but like low mid tier. Uh, it can spike, but like it doesn't really have a good hitbox above it. You can pretty easily edge guard it. Uh, it's not super fast. It's not really good on offense at all because it's just really slow. It's not good. It might be low tier. It might be like here. Like it's not a good upbeat. It's actually probably his worst move. Like Kirby's worst move. Well, second worst move. Hammer's trash. Uh, Link's up B. Definitely high tier. That shit scoops off stage. It's really good for combo enders. And it's a great out of shield. Well, it's a good out of shield option. It's not a great out of shield option because it's frame like seven or something, which isn't super fast. Uh, but frame seven's the same as uh, Clouds. It hits both sides. It's ridiculously strong. So he has all this pressure and then can just like upbeat. Again, it's a good combo ender. It's not super easy to edge guard. It's stronger than Young Link's. Like obviously Young Link has like arrows and stuff into it, but I would say overall, like if you put Link's upbeat on Young Link, it was just infinitely better. You know? Because it's just stronger and bigger. Like, it doesn't have the as easy combos into it, but that's because of Link, not because of the Uppy. Little Mac. His Uppy is not good. It doesn't go far. It's not actually that easy to edge guard. It's, it's like decently disjointed. Or maybe I'm just, that's one of the weird Pika things. It's decent out of shield, but obviously it doesn't have a lot of drift afterwards. Uh, but it is frame three, but it's, a, it's the smallest frame three. Like, it's smaller than Thrubber, it's smaller than Mario's and Dr. Mario's, and it doesn't go far at all. And it's not that good for killing. Like, it's not that good for killing, unfortunately. And if you didn't have Little Max up tilt, I don't know how useful it is, you know? Lucario's up B is, I'm gonna say high tier? It's really awkward to edge guard. it has a hitbox. Yeah, Lucario's is pretty good, it's really strong. Like, the only issue is it doesn't have a hitbox at the beginning, so you can kind of still hit it off stage, but then if they like loop around it can hit. Maybe it's like closer to like here. I definitely think it is underrated. It's not that easy to use, but also that's an excuse for people that just don't play Lucario when they get hit on Iron Man. They're like, I don't know how to recover. When it's, it's not that hard. Uh, I don't know how to get the reverse hit because I don't play the character, but. Lucas is up, he's oh, uh, high, mid, low, high, dear. Um, so for recovery, it's not that great. I mean, it goes far, but it's not super great for recovery. But off stage, when your opponent is off stage or getting juggled, this move is obnoxious. I know it's not as good as Ness's. If you have a pretty, small upbeat or like if you got like a recovery that's not really good or really versatile this move just kills you like you get thrown off stage like decently far they go peak of thunder and they just like cover the stage and if you get hit you just go and then die like there's no way to get around this upbeat for a lot of characters and then of course the recovery goes far and it's not super easy to edge guard like you can edge guard it if you're out there before it hits him but like if you're not then it's just, it has to be a sword or like a disjoint otherwise you're gonna take 30. lucina i think this is just a solid upbeat it's like just a solid, no one would not, where like very few characters, like unless they have a better upbeat, very few characters don't want this upbeat. Frame 1 Invincible, it's a combo break, it's strong out of shield, uh, it's pretty good for recovery, it's not super easy to edge guard. Like certain characters can, but it's not like universally edge guardable. So I think there's just like nothing wrong with this upbeat, except if you're wrong, you get hit, but like such is the case with every combo break. Like if you're wrong about Luigi's down B, and you're not right next to the ledge, you're gonna get hit. You know what I'm saying? Luigi's up B, it's top tier. It's frame eight, question mark? Eight. Oh, it's six in the air, cool. Um, But this shit mega kills you. If you don't have a move that is safe enough on shield to not get hit by Luigi up B, you die. Like you just die. Um, It's fucked up. And most combo throws or like tilts would be able to combo into air up B. Like I could do down throw up B as Pika probably if I had it. Uh. There's a lot of other characters that have similar things or like, oh, air dodge read, up B, or oh, this thing, up B. It's also not super easy to edge guard. It goes pretty far and it's surprisingly difficult to edge guard. I've seen like all the tech videos of like, oh, if you mash a button, then for some reason, Luigi's thing puts you in more, hit, less hit stun. So, or like he freezes more so you can hit it. But like, I don't understand how that works. Uh, it's, so it's like a decent recovery tool. It just is only vertical. And then it fucking murders you. Like it's so strong. Maybe I'll put it here at worst, but like this up is broken. Speaking of broken upbeat, Mario's upbeat. I fucking hate this move. This move is so good. 
It is frame three, so it's still a decent combo break if you really want it, even though he has an air. It's so hard to edge guard because it's disjointed. It's a combo ender. It is a frame three out of shield option. Like, I don't know why Marios don't just run up shield and up B. They can play like Game & Watch, and none of them do, and I don't know why. Because this move is like as big as Game & Watch is up B, and it does like 15. Like, it's so dumb. It's so good. Um, it can cheese you off stage. It doesn't kill. It kills sometimes, but also, again, it's an out of shield option, so fuck it. It deals 15, and you go back to neutral. Like, it, it's annoyingly disjointed. Look how big that is. So if you're coming down on him, that's really hard to hit. And it's also disjointed to in front of him. It puts you in special fall, therefore you can't just throw it on neutral. It's a frame three option. There's like seven aerials that are safe enough to not get hit by this. And of course, like spacing, but like... So, just get better at it and recognize what you can hit. Maestro doesn't always throw out up B because you can still punish his landing, but like, it's so absurd. Mart's up B is the same as Lucina's up B. Basically, I don't actually know if this move has a tipper. I think it does. Does it have a tipper, chat? It does? Okay, cool. Well, I'll put this as better than Lucina's then. That's not a tipper. That's just a hitbox. So it's the same. So therefore, I'm going to use Marth for a different placeholder. For like, someone that has two different things. But they're the same. Mega Man's up B. Mega Man's up B is like the best version of the up B to then do something up B. Uh, but it's still not great. You can use it for like offensive traps with like up air and stuff. But again, no hitbox. You're still in lag. Doesn't really have a lot of uh, invincibility. So it's not a good up B. It's just... Not the worst uppies. It's probably more so like here. Cause like you can get up places pretty easily and then like double jump up air, which is really good for Mega Man and could be good for a lot of other characters. It's quite strong. Meta Knight. Um, I think Meta Knight's uppie is actually really overrated. I don't think it's that good. It's not like one of the worst uppies in the game. Um, but it's not a good uppie. I think it is very mediocre for juggling situations. I don't think most characters could combo into it if they wanted to. It's not a good out of shield option, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's like frame like 10 nine or ten or something it's not it's not good let's frame eight but the hitbox is like kind of whack you can also drop out of it and just leaves him in a ton of hits done so it's not worth it as an out of shield option it's not worth it uh, i mean it's, it's pretty decent as a as a combo ender but i don't think most characters could do that if they weren't just meta knight uh so yeah it's a it's okay Actually, a lot of characters probably do landing up air into his up B, but again, like, there are better kill up Bs. Mewtwo's up B, it's a teleport, but it has, like, no landing lag, like, less than normal. So, uh, it can also edge cancel, because every teleport can. But it's good for, like, up B forward tilt. Again, it can grab the ledge invincibly, it can do a bunch of good stuff. And teleports are pretty decent, because they're really, really, really hard to react to. Mewtwo's is the hardest to react to, because it doesn't actually have startup, really compared to like Palus, which you can like see them do it. Like we just like teleports. I'm gonna skip the Mies for now just because they are hard to do because there's three of them each. Uh, Min Min. Min Min's up B is overall pretty decent because obviously Min Min also has two up Bs and I'm gonna consider them with her ground and her air up B. So ground up B is pretty good, it's invincible. It can get you really high similar to Mega Man's but like just way better than Mega Man's because uh, you can do like directions. It's good for escaping, it's good for aggressing. It can get you into the air and let you juggle. And then her up B is a tether which can also kill people. And like kind of just like, that's a really good angle to hit. It's kind of like the Byleth one, the Joker one. Um, but in combination with their other up B, it's pretty good in my opinion. But I think Min Min's up B is like decent. It's one of the worst tethers in terms of like the standalone tethers. Cause it also doesn't really have a big like hop like Joker's does, like Byleth's does, like uh, Ivysaur's does, unfortunately. So, but Min Min's, Min Min's is good. Like both of them are good. Mr. Game & Watch is the uncontested best up B in the game, not even close. It's literally not close. It's frame three, it's huge, it's almost impossible to edge guard. It is a great out of shield option, it's an edge guarding tool, it's uh, just a check, it's a get out of jail option, just to like get away. This move is absurd. I don't know many characters, I can think of like two, that wouldn't want Game & Watch's up -y. otherwise it's literally just better. You can act out of it, so you can do up air dodge, you can do up aerials, you can, like, your recovery ends up becoming so good, you can just, like, linger for so long and then air dodge, like, it's so, it's dumb. It's so dumb. Absolutely ridiculous. Clearly the best up in the game. Not even close. It's not a contest. Ness. Ness's up is a better version of Lucas's up -y. Where, look, you can edge guard it. But Ness's is terrifying to edge guard because if you're wrong, you're going to take 40 and potentially get untackled and die. In terms of advantage, it is one of the best advantage tools in the entire game. 
because it's a great juggling option. It is a non-committal juggling option that most people can't deal with because fast fall air dodging through PK Thunder either gets you hit by PK Thunder or gets you hit by PK Thunder 2. It's so scary, and then it can combo into Nair, it can combo into up air, it just leads you into a position where you're gonna get upbeat again. So like, there's nothing, like the only thing that's wrong with Ness's upbeat is if your opponent's already off stage and is able to edge guard you, GG. But that's not as common as people like to pretend it is. Pac-Man's upbeat, Pac-Man's upbeat's actually not that good. Um, it goes far, don't get me wrong. But uh, I think overall, Pac-Man's upbeat is overrated. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's not that great out of shield because he has, I mean, it's fast. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's, it's a good frame data wise upbeat. But based on how weak it is, like, you do upbeat out of shield and get punished potentially, uh, which is not good. So it's not like it's two frames faster than Nair, but Nair's way better overall. So it's not that useful as an out of shield option. It's not that useful as an offensive tool. And for recovery, it's good, but it's scary because if you have to go far enough away, which granted, Pac Man, like, never does this, but if you have to recover from far away, people can steal your trampoline and make it so that you don't have the third bounce. So you only realistically have two bounces as Pac-Man, which is not good. It's really scary. So it's, it's like a good up but it's not crazy. I think it's actually worse than this. Palu's up B. Uh, Palu's up B is the best teleport up B for sure. So obviously it has no offense, but it is so mobile. The fact that you can shorten this up B too is ridiculous. So there's so many different lengths that this up B can go. Again, it doesn't have a hitbox. It's, it's definitely better than Zelda's up in my opinion, because this is a way better get out of jail option, because it has no, it doesn't have a lot of landing lag, so, um, it's really just like a, it's a get out of disadvantage tool and a get off the ledge tool, which is really good. Teleport edge cancel is ridiculous, shortening is ridiculous, so there's a lot of good stuff with this up, it just doesn't have a hitbox, but again, it's a good recovery tool, it's a good, you know, get out of juggle, or get out of edge trapping situation, which is really important. Peach's up B. Peach's up B is a little hard to edge guard. It's not as necessarily as useful as Palo's in disadvantage, but like it has a hitbox, and technically you can like read air dodges up in the top last zone and then up B them. It's not gonna happen very often, but it is possible. Uh, it's hard to edge guard because the hitbox is really, it's just like a better K roll up B in terms of that hitbox. Uh, and then of course you have the umbrella, so you have the mix up of like drift if you really need to. Peach's up B. Peach's up B is okay. It goes really far, and it can get you at a disadvantage. At the same time, it has no hitbox and it deals damage to yourself. So I don't know what character would want that because dealing damage to yourself as you recover sucks. It's also very two frameable, which I don't know if it's, it's, it's Uppy or the recover, or like Pichu in general. Um, so yeah, you can get two frames really easily. It goes far. It's a great, like you are recovering tool, but like it has no hitbox. So actually I'm gonna put it like here because it's, you don't really want to use it in neutral. You don't really want to use it offensively, of course. You can use it as like a get off me option, but like if someone reads that you're dealing more damage to yourself and there's no usefulness of it. Pikachu's up B is the second best up B we've gone over so far. Pikachu's one of the only characters I would not want Game Watch's up B overall. I think Pikachu might have the second best up B in the game overall. It does damage, it can combo, it uh, is a great whiff punishing tool, it's good enough recovery for almost any single situation, any single character. Multiple angles so it's hard to edge guard. There's angles you can do that are not too frameable, which is broken. And it's a get out of disadvantage tool, it's a get up to the ledge tool, it's a get off the ledge tool, so there's no flaw with this up B. It's just not a really good out of shield option because it's frame 14 or 15, which isn't good. Olimar. Olimar's up B has no hitbox, but it's still better than the other ones that doesn't have a hitbox because he can do his arrows out of it after he goes really far. Like, it's, it goes, it's a far up B. Obviously, it's worse if you have a bunch of Pikmin, but you would never have Pikmin if you really need to recover, because you can just throw them. And it goes really far. Like, it goes ridiculously far. Like, way farther than any other up that doesn't have hitbox by far. Like, not even a contest. Then you can dip and weave out of the way, so it's actually pretty hard to edgeguard this up unless they have a bunch of Pikmin and are really slow, or you just guess correctly. Plants up is not that good. It is very easy to hit Plants up uh, it goes far, but it's not really used for offense, unfortunately. Uh, it's really easy to hit. It goes far, and it's not really used as an out-of-shield option. It's just a good, a decent recovery tool that doesn't kill. Charizard's up B is high tier up B, at least. It has armor really early. It's fast. It kills. It's a good out-of-shield option. I actually don't remember how fast this shit is. Oh, it's frame 9. So it's frame 9, which isn't that fast. Granted, he has off smash, but... It's so strong, it's really hard to edgeguard because of the armor. It crosses you up really ambiguously, which is obnoxious. I hate cross-up upbeats. It just, it goes far, it has armor, it kills. If you can use that out of shield, that's all you really need. Ivysaur, Ivysaur's upbeat is actually really good. It's like, the tether upbeats are all good, except for Minmin's. Um, like, Minmin's definitely the worst one. I think Ivysaur's upbeat is really good. It's a tether upbeat, so it can go far, it can recover, it has a big bounce, so you can use it as a third jump. 
It kills like a motherfucker. You can use it to get people off, to swap people away from the ledge, to do the what Quid did to send. Um, it's a great combo ender with a sweet spot. It's so strong. Even if it doesn't always kill with great DI, like it's still really, really versatile. Maybe it's probably an S tier upbeat. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really good. And Squirtle. Squirtle's upbeat is the worst upbeat of all of Pokemon Trainer. I think it's in the mid tier upbeat. You can use it as a uh, and as add a shield option. Uh, it also combos off of his down air and down throw. Uh, but like it could just be like solid damage for most characters, but the uh, the out of shield option of it isn't super great. Yeah, frame nine. So it's not super good out of shield considering Squirtle literally has better out of shield options. It also doesn't kill, but it's, it's solid damage. It's good. It's not. I mean, it's it's decently easy to edge guard. I would say it's still like solid, but it's definitely like by far the worst upbe of the trio. Uh, let me do Pyra's and Mithra's upbe. So Pyra's upbe is probably a high tier upbe. It goes far. It's ambiguous. It mega kills. So it can be a combo ender. It's an add a shield option, even if it's slow. Uh, it's a someone tried to hit a button on you, uh, aggro thing. It can be used as a way to get people off the ledge. Like if people are just throwing buffs trying to edge trap you, you will get hit by Pyra Uppy and it's very strong. But at the same time, like people just respect it too much. Like if you if you grab ledge and then do drop off Uppy, you can actually just smack Pyra and just a lot of people don't do that. Similar for Mithras, but obviously Mithras is different. Unfortunately, you can't edge guard with this Uppy unless you're just going for the SD spike and or a two frame, but like it's overall pretty good. Uh, Mithras Uppy. I would say Mithra's Uppy is a little bit better overall than Pyra's because it's faster out of shield. It's a better combo ender because it's faster and it has just a general bigger scoop hitbox, at least to me. Um, and it's a good edge guarding tool because it actually has the projectile. So you can, if someone's off stage, you can actually just go turn, like, like run off stage, Uppy shots, and it just kills people. Like, it, it just can, you know, loop people over and over again to getting hit. You could argue it the other way. Pyrus is better than Mithras, but I think overall Mithras is better. The Belmont up B. The Belmont up B I'm gonna put in like the upper end of mid tier. It's a great out of shield option. I think it's frame six. Let's go. I remember too much frame data. So it's frame six, which is good. It's a good out of shield option. And it, it's, it's a really good out of shield option. But for recovery, it's kind of sus. It's not that good. It's definitely, you get hit pretty, like you can get edge guard pretty hard. It doesn't really go far, like particularly far. So it's on the lower end because of the not really great recovery part of it, and it's not super useful offensively. Like, it's useful defensively for a be out of shield, but that's different than, like, Mithras, which is an edge guarder, or Pyrus, which kills. Like, this kills, but, like, only off of downer. And again, I'm saying, like, not just on Richter or Simon, but, like, it's okay. Ridley's up B. I'm gonna put Ridley's up B somewhere in mid tier. I think it is a actually a worse version of Fox's, still better than Falco's, because it kills and it spikes and it does a ton of damage if you mess with it. And you can like the wings are disjointed and you can poke them above the ledge really easily. But the problem with Ridley's up B is if you're not in the one of those four angles that are good that are usable, you can't like you can't just angle this wherever you want. If you could angle this wherever you want, it's probably at the very least an A tier up B. But it's so strong. It's so strong, so you, ha you have to respect it on ledge unless you're already off stage or have a projectile to attack it, and most characters don't have that. So, it's pretty good. Robin. Robin's up B is somewhere in mid-tier. Uh, Elwin 1 spikes. It goes far as fuck, but it doesn't have a hitbox above you, which means that it's pretty susceptible to being edge guard. Apparently there's like new tech with Elwin canceling and stuff, but I would say overall, like the spike is definitely the best part about this upbeat and it's not super applicable, unfortunately. Again, the recovery does go far, but it has no hitbox. So a lot of characters can just kind of wait and then drop off ledge, double jump back here, kind of similar to K Roll, but at least K Roll has the hitbox. I don't, I don't think it's that good. Rob, Rob's upbeat is broken. Obviously he doesn't have a hitbox, but I kind of mentioned it before that like Mega Man's is the best upbeat that you can like do stuff afterwards. The game watches this. Rob's is by far the second best one because you can do uppy fair, uppy fair, and it doesn't put you into free fall after. You have multiple uppies. You can go so far. It's good for disadvantage because you can just up behind and do back air, uppy back air, uppy back air, get us wherever you want on stage and then like fall with an aerial. Uh, and most characters would be able to do the same thing. Like, could you imagine someone just like being off stage and pressuring you with like uppy aerial, uppy aerial, like other characters other than Rob? Like that sounds terrifying. Could you imagine a link off stage like that does like full hop nair, double jump forward air, uppy forward air, uppy forward air, uppy forward air? Like it's fucked up. <laughs> like it's so terrifying. This uppy's broken. This uppy's so good. Rosa's is the one of the farthest. I think it's the second farthest uppy that doesn't have a hitbox. That's not a teleport. It's okay. It doesn't have a hitbox, but Luma can act. But I think it goes farther than Pit's up B overall. I mean, it depends on if you're considering like the arc and like the falling. But it's it's a little trickier than the other up Bs because you can go high with it and it's a little better. Uh, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom end of B tier as opposed to in C tier like Pit's and stuff because there is a mix up. And like up being high as these characters, like, well, as Banjo, it's okay. 
uh, cause you have Wondering, but again, that's specifically Wondering, but like the Uppy on stage is way better than the other no hitbox Uppies can do that. So yeah. Roy, his Uppy's broken. It's surprisingly hard to edge guard. It accidentally gives you non two frameable angles and it's great out of shield. It has frame four armor, I think, or five. It's really fast. It's great out of shield option cause it's frame eight overall, I think nine maybe. It's frame nine, but armor starts on four. So it's faster armor than Ike's Uppy. Uh, and it does like 22. It's really good. It's a it's a great out of shield option. It's hard to recover against. Uh, and then it can kill a hypersense. What do you mean it accidentally non two rimbles? The angle that a lot of Roy's like to do with like the ho the really horizontal uppy accidentally gets the angle of non two frameable. And people like they didn't even know that until kind of yeah. But it's it's a good uppy. Ryu's uppy. I think in a vacuum is worse than Ken's because you have to be right next to the opponent to hit it, but they're still like pretty comparable. It depends on if you're really thinking like, oh, do you have a combo confirming to it right next to it? Good out of shield option, both of them are, but I would say in a vacuum, Ken's is better, but they're both pretty comparable. I think actually Roy's or Ryu's is a little worse. It's still a good up beat, still hard to edge guard, still, you know, pokes the ledge. It's so strong. Samus's up B is a top tier up B. Don't know exactly where. I'm gonna have to reorder the tiers really quickly after this, but Samus's up B is broken. It's frame four. It's a, it is ambiguous on DI, especially last talk when the kill screen happens. It goes far. It's not that easy to edge guard. It goes surprisingly far, but it's just, it's one of the better defensive up B's in the game against frame four, which is worse than Game & Watches, Docs, Little Max, and Mario's, but it's the next fastest one. It's a really staple part of like any type of zoner play. And again, you can, if there were other characters that have like better combo tools, you could just like, imagine like, this is just like a better, it's a better offensive version of Mario's with being a worse defensive version. Cause people fall out a little bit easier, but it's really fast. It's really good. It's a, it's a really strong out of shield option. It's just not wide. So yeah. Sephiroth. Sephiroth's up, he's pretty damn good. I would say it's in the top tier. I know it falls out sometimes, but it's really strong. It's a really good edge guarding tool. It's a good spiking tool. It's a good recovery tool because very few characters can actually mess with Sephiroth's Uppy because it's so disjointed. Sometimes people fall out if you're trying to use it offensively, but it can two frame, can't really mess with it. If you're off stage, you just die sometimes. Like I was watching Cloudy versus Kirash and he did the thing. I mean, I remember I played Kirash when the character came out and it's like, jump off stage, up me, go up. And then it just like covers the entire space Luigi wants to be. So you just die and you can put it at any angle. Uh, and then also you have the single hit upbeat, which is still good. It's tricky, it makes it hard to edge guard, but it's, it's just overall a very good upbeat. Sheik. Sheik's upbeat is okay. It's somewhere in like A tier. Again, it's a teleport and it has a kill hitbox and it's invincible. So you can call people out for like trying to throw out buttons too aggressively. You're generally never gonna wanna use it on the ground, but again, it's a it's a teleport upbeat with a bounce to it, which is in my opinion, pretty damn good. Like I would say it's, it's definitely like low high tier upbeat. Like, it's really strong. It's so strong for no reason. Shulk's upbeat. Uh, I'm probably gonna put Shulk's up being the highest part of A tier, because it's frame 10, but massive. Uh, of course, it is. it can also kill. Uh, it's not super easy to edge guard. I mean, I do, but it's it's not super easy to edge guard. It has the double hit swing, but like frame 10, like anything that's minus 10 or more is just gonna get upbeat by this, because it's so big. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing super special about it. It's just frame 10 and huge and does good damage. And it's, it's just a solid out of shield option for a lot of moves that like they're trying to space that are less safe. So yeah, like obviously, Monado makes it better with like jump art and smash art and stuff like that. But I'm trying to consider if it like other characters have the upbeat, you know what I'm saying? Snake. I think Snake's upbeat is pretty good. It's not broken, but it's pretty good. Obviously it doesn't have offense capabilities, except for like, I'm gonna go up there and edge guard someone or like, you know, juggle someone, but you never see snakes do that. It has armor on it. So not everything can be edge guardable. Actually, I'm gonna put it in like B tier. It's not that good. The most annoying part about Snake's Up B is if he recovers really low to the ledge, like really close to the ledge, that like Cypher just kind of hits you and it makes it annoying to try to two frame him. So like Snake isn't really that two frame by most of the cast because of that Cypher, unless you like parry the Cypher and then hit the air dodge or something like that, but that's hard. Of course, like most characters could still do what he does and like, you know, land with, you know, fast fall air dodge or an aerial or like a uh, beer reverse neutral beat. But it definitely is better for Snake than most characters. Like it's not really an upbeat most characters would want unless their recovery is like bad. So Sonic, Sonic's up B somewhere in high tier. Uh, Spring is a better edge guarding tool than Banjo's up B. It is invincible a bit. Uh, you can react pretty quickly out of it. So you can do like things like spring nair, spring up B, um, spring forward air, spring back air. So you, you can like edge guard with it and like cover jumps really well, which uh, is, and it's a better version of like what Mega Man tries to do. Also you can put it on the ground 
and kind of or like platforms and make people have to like air dodge off of uh, the angel platform and like just have less time overall which is annoying but overall i would say it's a pretty good upbeat it's not like broken uh it doesn't have as much invincibility as it used to but again it's, it's just hard to hit because it's so fast like it's so hard to react to like upbeat to be like hit like it's, it's not easy to do sora sora's upbeat is i'm gonna say the top of high tier because again, it's one of those uppies that's really good if you have like combo moves into it. Like let's say Mario doing upper, upper, upper would straight up be better than uh, Sora's. But it's it's a tricky thing to edge guard. You of course have access to side B after that. Um, it's decent out of shield. I think it's frame nine. Yeah, frame nine. So like pretty decent out of shield. Uh, kills like a motherfucker, especially with bad DI. But I would say it's like, oh, no, I'm still gonna put it like here. I don't know if I consider his or- I'm gonna consider his actually worse than Link's because Link's is better as an out of shield option and also scoops off the ledge way better. Um, even if he does have access to side B afterwards, it's hard to consider that in a vacuum because also if, if you didn't have Sora side B attached to that, is that good? Like, would you want to go f***ing uh, Sora up B into PK Fire or Sora up B into Pin? Oh, Pin, yeah, but... Like, there are certain upside Bs you wouldn't want to have, and so detaching the side B from the up B is awkward, but I would say it's overall worse than Lynx, just because Lynx is a way better out of shield option, because it kills way earlier from the ground. Uh, Steve's up B. This up B is broken. This up B is so good. I wouldn't put it in a top tier up B, but the recovery of this up B is ridiculous. You can go under the stage with it, it has the weird angles that go super far, it's a combo move. It's a really hard to react to because he pancakes hella uh, get off the ledge option. It is really awkward to hit his up B unless you're hard reading the player, in which case that's on the player. But like it can definitely like up B into up tilts or up smashes, uh, which would happen for a lot of characters or up airs. It edge cancels really easily and it's just it's just really strong overall. Like it's not good out of shield, but I think the defensive use for this is like so good to the point where it doesn't matter. Terry. Terry's up B is pretty decent. I think it's, uh, is it better than Shoryu? I would say overall it's better than Shoryu because you have the charge up B, which is super invincible. And I'm assuming most characters, like if most characters have like falling up air into his up B, that's somehow better than the Shoryu. Eh, it's worse than Ken's, better than Ryu's. Worse than Ken's, better than Ryu's. Most people would be able to combo into it, even with the charge. Uh, I would definitely overall say that Terry's up B is pretty good. It's invincible, so you can't really edge guard it. You can do it faster and have it not be invincible, but like, it just generally works. Well, I think it's a good one. Toon Link. Toon Link's up B is, I forget what frame it is, and that really determines a lot. It's frame six, which means it is a faster version of Link's that is just a little bit stronger as an out of shield option that always sends forward. So it's literally going to be just barely better than Link's. I think it's worse uh, off stage as a recovery move, and it doesn't scoop nearly as much, but because the up B is one frame faster out of shield, I think that's a huge distinction. Like six frame is so much better than seven frame, like it's ridiculous. And it always sends forward and it's still strong as fuck. It covers ledge stuff really well uh, because it doesn't like, it's not like strong hit weak hit. So yeah, I think it watch up B is like arguably the best move in the game. So yeah. But two links, I mean, I would, uh, I think because Lynx is stronger off stage, I'm gonna put it like that. But like, two links is still pretty strong. Yeah, I'm gonna put two links higher than it. Villager, Villager's a B is the same as Isabelle's. It's not good, it goes far, but has no hitbox, and there's two ways to edge guard it by either hitting the character or hitting the balloon. Wario. Wario's a B is high tier. It's surprisingly hard to edge guard. It's really disjointed, it's strong, it hits you off stage really well, and you can use that out of shield. It's not the best out of shield option, but it's pretty fast still. It's frame six? Damn. So it's frame six, which is actually a really good out of shield option. Wario should do this more. Um, it, you almost never fall out of it. It's strong, it kills, it's really scary to edge guard because it's randomly disjointed for no reason. Weave a Trainer up B. I think Weave a Trainer's up B is okay. It has a bad hitbox on it because it doesn't hit above. It goes far, but it basically doesn't have a hitbox unless you're next to them, which is weird. So no hit, no applicable hitbox means that you're gonna get edge guarded a lot, but it goes far. Wolf's up B is, I'm gonna say a high tier up B. I think the best part of Wolf's up B is footstool up B out of shield, clearly. It's super kills. Um, but also, it's, it's just strong. You can use it, it's cheeky, it doesn't have as much landing lag as you expect an up like this to have. So, it's actually not as punishable as you expect. It doesn't go far, it's definitely not that high. I'm, I'm tripping, it's like here. Uh, but up B, puts a lot of shields really good, so I'm gonna put it at least in A tier, because like, that's a universal option. Like, anyone would be able to footstool up B out of shield. It's definitely edge guardable. Uh, I'm tripping, it's more like here. 
But it's like the best Twitzel up, you have a shield of all the spaces. So, yeah. And it kills. Yoshi! Yoshi's up is like low key, really good. Eggs are obnoxious. They're really good off stage. Uh, they're really good just as a camping tool because it bounces on platforms. It's really good for tech chases. It's really good for getting you higher because of the way egg works with the egg bouncing, or not egg bouncing, with um, egg boosting, which is like when you have vertical momentum upwards and up, you go like hella far. So I think that's really good for uh, Yoshi. You have multiple, it's not super great as a recovery tool. So obviously like it's not actually that super good because most characters, most characters would not be able to recover with this up but I think it's a really good tool. Like, it just, you kind of need Yoshi's double jump uh, with it, otherwise it's not great. Young Lynx, I think Young Lynx up B is the best of the up Bs for the Lynx, but they're all kind of comparable. It's frame nine? That, never mind. It's frame nine, that should slow us. Up. Young Lynx, the worst of the three up Bs. No, but it, it combos, which is nice. Like, most characters will be able to do up B out of shield into up air. But like, my, like, nine's a lot, so I don't know. I think it's actually, I'm gonna put it like here actually. I do think it's the worst of the upbeats because of it's because it's slow, but like if it hits, it's so good. It's still good. Like it's the, I feel like it's the worst of the three for recovery. It's about as strong as Toon Links, maybe a little weaker than Toon Links, but add a shield, it's good in terms of hitting it, but not in terms of getting the hit. Cause nine's slow. Nine is slow, man, I don't know. Zelda, Zelda's upbeat is mid. I think Zelda's and Palu's, I think Palu's actually way better. So Zelda's goes far and you can't really edge guard it because you can just hold down a little bit and you have to have a meaty hitbox out and it's really scary. It's really strong, but because of the inconsistency of the, of the move, it's really hard to react to where your opponent is going to be denying if you do the upbeat. So because of that, it's, just, it's really scary to go for it, even though it's, I think, frame what, six? Yeah, it's frame six, so it's fast. But like, even though it kills early, if you just DI away from it, like it's really hard to react to where they're going and then change where you're up being. You can react to DI offline. It seems really difficult to do so. Like unreasonably difficult. Granted, then it kills you at 80 if it, if it works. But I think overall it's not worth it because of exactly how, like how easy it is to hit if you're wrong. Uh, then Zero Suit. Zero Suit's the last one. Uh, Zero Suit is in the top of high tier uh, Bs. It's frame six, but it's small. So it's really hard to hit up B frequently. Um, obviously it's a good combo ender and it is if you have the setup into it, but like if, if a character doesn't have paralyzers, are you really gonna be hitting that many up Bs? Probably not. So I think up B is like a decent move. And obviously if it hits it, it just, it kills you. It's so good if it hits, but if it doesn't hit, oh no, <laughs> it's not that good. And it's small. So like it's, it's not frequent that it's just going to be able to hit unless people are holding completely forward into you. Now let's rank the Miis. So this is a little weird. So I'm going to be putting the Miis and then using other characters as uh, the supplementary characters because I think I got every character. So me Brawler, I'm gonna do first. Uh, me Brawler, Thrupper, absolutely broken up B. It's frame three, even though it's not that big, but it's, so it's tied for the fastest up B out of shield, which is really good. Great combo ender, great out of shield option, not easy to edge guard. It's so fast. Frame three is ridiculous. Uh, it would allow a lot of combos for people or just like out of shield options that are just like really easy. Falling up air into uppies in general, really good for most characters. It, it just kills, it just kills. And it would allow a lot of characters to have things like down throw uppie because of how fast it goes up. So if that's Thrupper, Heli Kick, which is going to be denoted by Zombie, is probably somewhere in the A tier. I think all of Me Brawler's uppies are good. Uh, Heli Kick is decent for recovery, not super good vertically, but good horizontally, and then it murders people if you hit them off stage. Uh, like, it sends at such a terrible angle, and then you can just like drift back afterwards, which is really, really good. Uh, it's a little worse out of shield. I think it's frame eight and it doesn't hit super low. So it's not useful for that. So it's literally only useful as like a jump call out or if they don't have an air dodge or punishing an air dodge or something like that, uh, which is why I don't like it as much. But like, uh, dude, imagine like Pikachu doing down throw, like up air bridges into up B. Like, that'd be insane. Like, there are a lot of combos that would be able to end in up B and either get an SD stocks or like just low percent kills. So it's really cheesy, uh, which makes it good. And then his other up B, which I'm gonna denote with Weefa Trainer, which is Soaring Axe Kick, is in my opinion better than Heli Kick. It's frame 10 out of shield. Uh, it's basically a worse Shulk up B in my, oh, is it better than Shulk's up B? I think it's better than Shulk's up B actually. Cause it's frame 10, but it can spike. So it can cheese people, it can combo, like a lot of things could combo into this up B and just get kills at zero. Uh, it doesn't kill nearly as well as Shulk's. Uh, when Shulk has Monado Arts. Overall, it's still very good. So the SAK is really, really strong. 
as not a shield option. It's just still, to me, way wor like worse than Thrupper. I think Thrupper is like broken. SIK is still good. Heli Kick, which is zombie, still good, but just Thrupper and Brain Supreme. For me, Gunner, I have me Gunner. So this is going to be the one they mostly use, which is the far recovery, but no hitbox. And as I mentioned, no hitbox. It goes far and it's really tricky to edge guard, but it still has no hitbox. So it's only useful as a recovery tool. It's not useful as a get out of jail option. It's not useful out of shield, so it's not that good. But unfortunately, it's so it's still somehow way better than me gunner's other of these because sans will denote uh the like four frame like bah, like hitbox move with gunner it's not a good upbeat it's small it's fast but it's so small and it has no recovery so it's really scary to just not have the option of recovery it's literally like a worse little mech upbeat quite literally but god is it satisfying it has a spike at the beginning like it's such a cool move but i think it's just really bad overall i guess if you had good jumps it would be better and like a good air drift would be way better. But like overall, I feel like it's not that good. And then somehow I'm gonna use Inkling as their other upbeat with the one with like you shoot the fireball down. It's also not a good upbeat. Me Gunner does not have good upbeats. Like it's useful, but they're not good upbeats. Like it's a little tricky. I guess it's more closer to like, well, I put Rosa like way too low. But it's more like here. And definitely the, that upbeat is better. So this, uh, which is the fireball upbeat, it goes just up, but again, no hitbox above it, so it basically doesn't have a hitbox, so it's basically this one, but less mobile, even though it goes higher up technically. Um, which, honestly, I think the, the DP is better, but it's still not good. Uh, and then we have Swordsman, where Swordsman is going to be the one that they mostly use, which is like the multi-slash. The multi-slash is decent, it's not easy to edge guard. It's not easy to edge guard. Uh, it can cheese people, it's decent on a shield. But yeah, it's this. So it's frame 15, so I lied. It's not good uh, at a shield. At all. But they use it. It's hard to edge guard. Um, but it's frame 15, so it's pretty slow. It's pretty bad. Simon is going to denote the two part upbeat for Me Swordsman, which is the one I personally use when I play Me Swordsman. But it's not good. It's like strong, but it's slow out of shield. It's not that good for recovery. Uh, it's really punishable. So the two part one's not super good. But I think the best Me Sword Fighter one is uh the link up b overall it's just not necessarily for me gunner or, or me swordsman and then byleth is the uh multi slash one because like all the links are up here so this has got to be somewhere here right that's gonna be it i'm gonna have to remember what all of those mean uh and that was the up b tier list let me really quickly uh try to order it pikachu Busted.